Yesterday afternoon, as around 3 p.m., we have received uh, uh, 10 patients uh, who got some injuries from a an explosive device that happened in, in a school uh, within a solo, uh, uh, within a solo town. Uh, most of them were minor injuries. We have discharged them uh, from the casualty. Seven of them. One was the, the one of one of the uh, injuries. One of the casualties was a teacher uh, who had minor injuries. We admitted three, which two of them have uh, soft tissue injuries. One has a abdominal injury, which we uh, did some exploration. Uh, all of them are stable, and they are doing. They are recovering well. The KCPL candidate also is one of the guys, one of the students that we have, had, one of the children that we have discharged from the casualty. Jana to the uh, uh, ten casualties from uh, that explosive uh, that has happened in uh, that school. Uh, one of them is a teacher, and uh, nine uh, school children. Uh, we were able to handle uh, the cases because they are minor injuries. Seven of them were discharged, including the teacher. Three were admitted. Uh, one, I think, had uh, some injuries at, on the abdominal uh, area, and uh, he was taken to the theatre for confirmation, just in case there is any internal uh, issue. Uh, the patient was attended to by the Cuban doctor, and uh, there, were, there was nothing major. And now is admitted to a pediatric ward. Uh, we are just observing. Doctors are observing the, the, the boy, and is in a very good, uh, stable condition. We have no major other issues. The rest who have been discharged were told to come back for review. We will continue reviewing them. Our doctors will continue reviewing them. Uh, otherwise, uh, for us, we are prepared, and uh, everything is under control. Kila kitu iko sawa sawa na hakuna hatari yoyote. There is no major issue for us to, to there is no major cause of alarm, uh, especially for these cases. There is nothing that to worry about. Uh, we were seeing in the report that uh, there was one major issue that cannot be handled at Solo Referral Hospital, which is not the case. Sisi to Kotiari, there are major, major uh, issues that are being handled here. This one was uh, quite minor for us and uh, we are able to handle. As you have seen, they are very stable, they are being observed very well. We are giving them a uh, very uh, keen observation and uh, I think our doctors will continue reviewing them. When they are due for discharge, they will be discharged. When they, are actually, when they require uh, further attention, we can still keep them and have them uh, observed. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we have the ages here. Uh, we are having uh, one uh, six years, another one seven years, another one four years, another one fifteen years, another one sixteen years, one seventeen, one eighteen, and the teacher is forty-seven years old. Yes, we are uh, prepared, uh, uh, much as challenges are there, and actually issues of uh, blood and whatever we have been handling, we are able to do collaboration with uh, uh, Meru Blood Satellite. Uh, Meru Blood Satellite is uh, serving three counties as per, as per the arrangements. It's serving, it's serving Meru County, Isiolo County and Marsabit County. We have had uh, around three meetings. We have done collaboration. We contribute to the expenses. We contribute in terms of also staffing. And actually, uh, you know, blood uh, also have season. Currently, we are doing uh, we are doing uh, the much we can to collect as much as we we can because schools are being closed and we we, we think we have enough and adequate uh, blood in the store so i think uh, we are prepared uh, i don't think whether we're going to have a major major thing that probably overwhelm us suppose it is there then i think we also have um, uh, we can also ask for assistance but in any case now we are very much prepared in terms of our staffing. You have seen our level of uh, uh, improvement. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.